Hey, Rocky, didn't we have a great time in Chicago when June became a teacher? And, and, and it was so wonderful to see her even dancing hula in her, those teacher's robes. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, that was really great. But I have a question for you, Rocky. Yeah, what, Tootsie? What's a teacher? Ah, uh, for me, a teacher is a person who erases the blackboard. Really? You had teachers who erased the blackboards? Yeah, that was the most important thing for me. But you know, Rocky, I mean, I had teachers too. Like, I remember Mr. Pellucci in school. He was so cute, we called him Rock Valentino. And you know what he used to do? He filled up the blackboard with all kinds of stuff. That blackboard was full of words all the way, all the time, and there was no room for anything else. And I remember R Valentino, Mr. Pellucci, that's all he did. He just filled up the blackboard. Yeah, and he probably wanted you to be able to repeat what he put on the blackboard, to repeat what he thought was he had the right things. Eh, I don't go by that. I like erasing the blackboard instead so that I'm free to think new things. But, you know, I mean, not only do they sometimes fill up the blackboard, but they tell us, it's like they tell us, okay, now sit down, and now we want you to write an essay. We want you to tell us your opinion, and then give us all the reasons why you have the opinion, and all the logic, and, and, and they tell you to fill up paper after paper, and notebook after notebook after notebook. They don't just cover the blackboard, they tell you to cover all your notebooks and get all this stuff written down. I had those teachers too, Rocky. Yeah, me too. And uh, I can, uh, uh, in my opinion, that's fine as long as they told me to erase the blackboard afterward. And if it was on paper, bind it. Bind all that stuff. Bind it? Yeah, who wants to remember? Start again fresh the next time. Boy, you had very, t you know, you know what that reminds me of? That's very funny. You know, somebody once died and we ordered a cake for the wake. And so then I went to the, pick up the cake at Anunzia's Bakery, and there was old Mrs. Anunzia, and she gives me a cake, and you know what it says? What? It says, Happy Birthday! And I say to her, Mrs. Anunzia, he died! He died! How can I bring a cake that says, Happy Birthday? And she says, But I always have to write something. I can't just give a cake with nothing on it. I always have to write something. And that's what it is. People think you know, they always have to write something. And they always have to have an opinion. And they always have to tell you what to think. They always have to write something even on a cake for somebody who's dead. Yeah, I know. Isn't it horrible? Of, of course, it is a new birthday. Yeah, I mean, if you die, there's a new birth coming on. I get that. But... What I don't uh, what I don't like is when people try to give me their opinions of some kind of truth or something that's the right thing to do or whatever, instead of just erasing everything, leaving it blank, and letting me come up with what what seems to be the right thing or the thing to do at the at at the moment. I I, I almost said right thing, and you know, and I don't believe there's a right or wrong thing. It's the thing that comes up at the moment. But if the if it's not a race, it's hard to do that. But you know, it's even more than that, Rocky. People want you to just fill up your brain, and you always have to be able to talk about things. Like, what happens if you don't have anything to say? When I didn't have anything to say, my mom used to tell me that I was a dummy. But sometimes I just don't have anything to say, so why should I write anything or say anything if I don't have anything to say? Yeah, I agree with you. In fact, if you go visit some of those meditation halls, they don't like it when you have something to say. They want you to be just quiet. And so what's wrong with that? I don't know. That's just one way of being. I don't know if it's wrong, but I like it. I do a certain amount of that each day. And for me, it's good. 
You know what we did in Miss, with Mrs. Anuncia? We covered the whole cake with ricotta cheese so oh. they wouldn't see happy birthday. So she erased it, but she couldn't erase it like they do on the blackboard. She erased it with ricotta. Yeah, that's a lot. I, I think uh, we do that a lot, too. We erase things by covering it up with new things. <laughs> <laughs> Ricotta, ricotta. <laughs> hey, sweetie, I love you.